Imagine you had a great idea and shared it with the world. To make it a better place. To make it cleaner and quieter. To make people more comfortable. Businesses more successful. The world more connected. Would an idea that great ever fly? It will. And like nothing else. Boeing Forever New Frontiers. You talk too much. Howard Dean, Harry Reid, Dan Bartlett, Joe Lieberman, Joseph Biden, Carl Levin, Josh Bolton, Josh Bolton, Josh Bolton, Arlen Specter, Chuck Schumer, John McCain. This election was to some extent a very big referendum uh, on President Bush. We Republicans have lost our way that we came to Washington to change government and government changed us. The spending. But I think you're going to see the main focus on balance of the budget, which Bill Clinton was a Bill Clinton legacy, and on strong security. Is to try to have programs that are paid for. We, we need to recognize that the tax system, we may, may need to take a look at the tax system, but we're not going to do this in the first six months or the first year, maybe not even during this Congress. There will be times, rare occasions, when these committees will have to offer subpoenas, but that will happen very infrequently. We will just be doing our job. That's why I'm saying return the way it used to be that works so well. I'm going to caucus uh, with the Democrats, both because it's good for my constituents in Connecticut, because I retain my seniority, I become a committee chair. I am now an independent Democrat, capital I, capital D. Matter of fact, the Secretary of the Senate called my office and asked, how do you want to be identified? And, and that's it, independent Democrat. Jim Jeffords of Vermont crossed over and joined the the Democrats, and they, yeah. gave, they gave him his committee chairmanship. Yeah. You're, you're not ruling that out at some future time. I, I'm not ruling it out, but I hope I don't get to that point. Now, President Bush has put his ideas on the table. He wants other people to put their ideas on the table. Then we'll see if there's any common ground. But I don't think we're in the place right now where people ought to be ruling things in or out. Yeah. Do you have any intention of stepping down? No, I talked to Harold last night, and he, has no, he doesn't want the job. This is, this is some kind of inside the Beltway silliness. Doing this again, uh, looking ahead to the Senate in 2008, running that uh, Democratic Senatorial Campaign Committee? Well, Senator Reid has asked me. I'm thinking about it long and hard, and I'll, uh, I'll give Senator Reid an answer tomorrow or the next day. Uh, first order of business is to change the direction of Iraq. The, uh, the, the president would only have been satisfied replacing Secretary Rumsfeld with a very strong replacement. Uh, Bob Gates is that person. Uh, and, and we don't know what he would have decided, but at the time that he gave that interview, he had not decided to make a replacement. If Rumsfeld had been out, you bet it would have made a difference. Uh, uh, I'd still be chairman of the Judiciary Committee. If President Bush, desperate to change political polls, would have jettisoned his Secretary of Defense. It would have looked desperate. It would have looked like it was made based on political motivations, not on the security interests of our country. And I think that would have weakened the president in Republican support going down the stretch of this campaign. McCain is saying either send more troops in, secure the country and win, or make the decision and get out. I think that that's pretty much uh, my position. Uh, I, I'm, maybe it's more nuanced than that. I'd be our problem is we got to cut our losses and figure out how we're going to get our folks out and still defend the United States of America. Cut, cut our losses is what the message you get from, from this election is. Yeah. Don't stay in Iraq. We, we're not going to put up with terrorism in Iraq or any place else. But we can't keep 140,000 brave Americans in Iraq. A phased redeployment to begin withdrawing troops from Iraq to put pressure on the Iraqis, combine that with an international conference. Can the president sign on to that? Um, you know, we'll see. The, uh, the important thing is that this be done in a way that the Iraqis can succeed. Will you run for president in 2008? I'm going to sit down with my family over the holidays. I always said I would decide early next year and I'll sit down over the holidays with my family and make that decision. Are we doing the things organizationally and legally that need to be done to prepare for it? Yes. Will you form an exploratory committee? I, I think so. This time, will you go all out in Iowa if you run? We haven't decided to run or not, but uh, we'd have to. That would have to be a consideration. I understand that uh, that 
it becomes uh, of some more importance. I, I, I still plan on running. I haven't, quite frankly, thought through all of the, uh, all, all, all the, uh, you know, the mechanics of it at this point in terms of when to announce setting up an exploratory committee. But I plan on doing that. Barack Obama's experience to be a presidential candidate in 2008. Uh, look, Barack has done an enormous amount for the party. I don't comment on 2008 because I really do have to be the referee and have to be entirely neutral, and I'm going to continue to be entirely neutral. Are you going to get in as well? And if not, how are you going to choose between them? No, and uh, we'll see who the strongest candidate is. But don't count me as number seven. I, <laughs> uh, I value my marriage much too much for that. I talk too much. Imagination is the bridge to the future. Boeing. Forever new frontiers.